Welcome in everybody. How is it going? Beautiful Sunday morning, hopefully for all you guys. We are getting ready to hop into some angler target those remaining diamonds. How is Hydro doing? Beverly, Stella, Bay, and congratulations on your great one, Fallow. Stevie B over on Twitch. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you guys this morning. Bright and early. Too bright and early for some. Toffee Army. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. My server is 1652. If you're still going for smallmouth yellowfish. Good morning, Dad. And I'm in mod chat. Good morning, Split over on Twitch. How are you doing, buddy? And let's see. Yeah, I still haven't seen that uh, Dream Elements has joined yet. Or youtube so i'm just wondering what's going on with that um anyway we got dad's a psycho hydro bay beverly stella over on a youtube we got 10 watching over here on youtube we got six watching over on twitch everybody's sleeping <laughs> I didn't want to get up this morning myself. I am a few minutes late. I do apologize for that. Sometimes you just, just can't roll over and get out of bed, you know? How was your concert? Oh, it was awesome. Listen, we went to a little concert, probably about the same distance away. It wasn't at a high school gym, but it was at this little facility. And it was, I think it was Chris Jansen. And, you know, it lasted about an hour. So I figured that's what we were going to get, you know, just like a little hour concert. It was like for flood relief. I don't know if y'all remember a couple years ago, Eastern Kentucky got hit by a, a, like a 1,000 year flood. And uh, that gym that we were in last night was underwater, like the floor was underwater. And. Um, so in the last couple of years, they've rebuilt it and, and everything. So this was part of Clint Black coming in to help out with flood relief and, and all that. So it was a fundraiser, you know, so, oh, okay. so that's how they were able to get him in there. And, uh, so good, good dude. Um, and come to find out the girl that opened for him, Tyra Madison, you guys need to look her up. Tyra Madison, uh, back when I first started teaching, I've kind of taught, you know, around different schools in Eastern Kentucky. And when I first started teaching, I taught her in like kindergarten, first grade, something like that. And, uh, she had a different last name then, but, uh, Tyra Madison, look her up really good. She's already got songs released out on the radio and stuff. I had no idea. <laughs> And she got up there and I was, kept thinking, man, she looks familiar, you know, but, <laughs> but it's hard to put a name to a face to somebody you taught in kindergarten, first grade, you know, and, yeah, and, it's been a while. and then when she got up there and said what her other last name was, I was like, I taught her. And then she said, <laughs> she said, yeah, you all know me. I'm from here, you know, and I'm like, what blow my mind. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep, and uh, awesome, awesome. And she sung a song called Papaw. You know, just talking about how her Papaw was one of the ones that inspired her to play music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And man, it was a tearjerker. And, and like everybody in there was just like moved. It was a beautiful song. She wrote it herself, you know. Akami, how's it going, buddy? Welcome over on uh, Twitch and Killer is over on Twitch as well this morning. Hydro says, feels good to be back in the streams, boys. 
Feels good to not be grounded anymore, huh? <laughs> Seems like you told me that one time that you were grounded or something. Maybe I'm imagining that. That might have been somebody else. But how's everybody doing this morning? Everybody's having an awesome day. Well, we're going after the smallmouth. And that one jumped, so that should be a smallmouth. <clears throat> I wasn't grounded for that long. Akami, uh, one piece of advice I'll tell you is never self-promote, bud. That's one thing you don't want to do. That'll uh, make people not watch you, actually. It's one thing you don't ever, ever want to do. I don't think I have any mods over on, on Twitch. Oh. I was going to say, I was just scanning the, the chat here, and I, don't, I was like, I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, Mike's not woke up yet. <laughs> Ooh, I got something big. Thanks, Split. At least I hope it's something big. Did you join my server or are you in your own? You know what? Because I'm on a late, you know, it's about to be nighttime and that's the, the ideal time for those. That's why I, I did it. not. Let me see. I mean, it's like, let's see, it's 1706 right now, which is, you know. There we go good time for joining that i mean you know going after those anyways hydro so sloan what have you been playing recently i seen the angler but anything else you know me man i usually stick to one game i'm not a variety streamer guy most of that is due to uh my day job you know when here's the way i feel i don't know about you guys but I kind of feel like when I have limited time to play, I wouldn't get good at any game if I spread my time around to all of them, you know? Yeah. I, so, so I focus on one game, you know, because when you've got two or three hours a day to play, and sometimes not at all, um, it's hard to play different games and, and feel like that you're accomplishing anything on them. So... I'm uh, I'm the angler right now. Now, when I catch all these diamonds, I do have five remaining diamonds left on the hunter. Call of the wild. I'll probably go after them and uh, split my time. I've been playing the angler, call of the wild, way of the hunter, and some call of duty. See, if I did that, if I split my time up among three games, I wouldn't be good at any one of them. <clears throat> You ain't kidding. That's a that's a good temperature right here. <clears throat> yeah, my stream deck is not picking up my Discord. So when I hit the button now, instead of it pr uh, putting my stream in all the different Discords, it's just putting them like in my general chat just over and over and over again so i've got to try to get that fixed who wants to play hmm. other games when you have this little gym exactly akami does temp actually make a difference over on twitch that actually helps because you know temps will get a little colder right so you'll know like some areas if it's a low temp fish where you should be looking you'll notice where we are here the way the splits are if you work out your temps so 
it kind of, you know, that's the attempt's really just going to show you where you can possibly catch a diamond. It's not going to tell you anything else. There you go. Yes, temps matter. As I said from the beginning. I've said that all along. And then there were times when Jaxie said that they don't matter. And then right there you go. I think someone misunderstood what was being said. I know, Akami, because originally he did say that they didn't matter and it was a dead end. But now he has retracted that. Was that the clip of him saying that? Yep. <laughs> yep. And I got made fun of in the official angler discord and prodded and teased. And oh, yeah. After all that. There were people in there trying to start arguments. Anytime I hopped in Discord, they'd start making fun of me over temperature and and all that. And I was like, okay, all right. I got attacked in there one time too, doing that. Yep. How do they feel now that Jaxie came out and confirmed it? Oh, you don't hear from them now. Yeah, and I've never gotten an apology from anybody. Well, I just got me a diamond. Diamond what? For sure common carp most likely i got a diamond hook on here i've been catching gold like crazy in this pond i've been wanting to catch a diamond here oh you've not I caught it yet you got it hooked yeah it's hooked it's a it's a four rot hook right now so i know it's a diamond oh okay i just don't know how big yeah split you were in on that with me me you and uh tackle world um which now split and tackle world were on the temperature thing before I was. They just recruited me to help them with the other maps because they were on it with, I think they started with Spain on it. And then I started on the other maps, just trying to help them out before South Africa come out here. And uh, I started targeting temperatures and man, my diamond count started going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely See, makes a difference. Here's what happened. People will probably never admit this. But what happened was back when the game first came out, you had a group of people that started trying to test the temperatures and stuff. And they were finding out that if you cast over here, um, you would start getting like different temperatures. And they couldn't explain it why you could cast in the same spot. Uh, and get different temperatures. Let me get yeah. this fish in and I'll show you why that was happening. And I tried explaining that to people. They just wouldn't listen, kept making fun of me, kept saying temps don't well, matter. And I was just like, okay. Up, though, that was before they changed the map so you could actually see yeah, the that's That's what I'm water. getting at. That's what I'm getting at is like yeah, back cool. when they tried to do this a year ago. Or when the game first came out, a little over a year ago. They didn't have this water depth to go by. Right. All the water was one this color. was one color. <laughs> so they were parking in places that they didn't even realize was several depth changes. Like you don't have a lot of depth changes on this map, actually. Well, maybe over here. Like uh no, like, pretty drastic. Like they would park in a place like this and cast. And so if the fish came from over here in this shallow water and bit, see the temperature is not where the float is. It's where the fish come from. Think about it. Where are fish going to hang out? They're going to hang out in temperatures that they like. If the water's too cold, they're going to swim over here. If it's too warm, they're going to swim over here. It makes perfect sense. So they would swim, and, and you got to remember, now we see all these depth changes. Back then, it was all one solid color. So they were catching temperatures of fish at different temperatures, casting in the same spot, because they were coming from over here. They were coming from over here. Or sometimes they'd get an immediate bite here in this deep water, and it would be real cold. Well, they didn't know that because the map didn't reflect the depth changes. So they were confused as crap. 
and a lot of people don't want to admit it, and they want to keep saying, even after Jaxie has confirmed that temperatures do matter, they want to keep yeah, saying that temperatures don't matter because some, some people are incapable of saying, hey, I was wrong. Some people cannot say it. They just won't. And they'll say, I'm going by time of day instead of temperature. Well, you know what? If you're going by time of day, you're going by temperature because they're the same thing. They're the yep. same thing. In the in the mornings, it's going to be a little cooler. As the day goes on, you start getting midday. Just like in real life, it gets hotter. So you can call it time of day if you want. It's still temperatures. Yep. <laughs> Whatever you all want to do. <laughs> nice 61.76 pound diamond yeah it's a, it's a pretty good size one i think now i'm gonna go back and read some of these i got on my soapbox there it just makes me mad when people like it's one thing to disagree with me on it it's another thing to poke and prod me and make fun of me when i'm right so who's laughing now <laughs> Oh no! What I was I was tabbed over getting ready to go through these chats and I missed that fish, but I didn't jerk, so it oh. should come back. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, Akami, we are family friendly, so watch the language, please. I see. Who wants to play other games? Oh, that's right. I already got that. <laughs> Uh, right, I see that toffee army. Like sometimes you gotta take that stress out <laughs> before you come and cause stress by not getting the diamonds you want. <laughs> yeah, occasionally I'll get somebody come in the channel questioning temps and I got that little gem keyed up ready to play. I had several naysayers that I was like, please just come join my Discord and let me show you. Because I had people saying, well, you can't predict the temperatures and all that. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, come and join my Discord. Let me share my screen with you and I'll predict. I can't predict exactly, but I can catch a fish and watch where it came from. If you can see it, if you're float fishing, of course. And I can say, okay, I can cast over here and it's going to be a little warmer or over here and it's a little colder. And uh, they're like, no, nope, it's random numbers. It's random numbers. I, and I was like, no, if it's random numbers, if the temp is random numbers, then I wouldn't be able to predict if this fish is going to be hotter or colder. So. Yeah. Nice try on that one too. <laughs> um... Let's see. The other thing that messed them up was the diamond challenges. The temps did not matter with the challenge. The diamond would be there and then the temp was way out on them, which is why we don't look back at that info on temp. Oh, the temp, you know, temps may not have mattered at all when the game first came out split. Like, um, they, they've changed so many things since, you know, how easy it was, like with the diamond challenges. That's true. They were going to be there in that spot no matter what uh, temperature said and all that. And things have changed since then. So we can't go by what happened a year ago. And things may change again, and it might get to where uh, temperatures don't matter. But I was in Facebook the other day uh, on one of the Facebook groups, and somebody was talking about a European perch. They'd caught over 500 European perch and still didn't have a diamond. And I said, are you fishing in known diamond locations? Because that's number one. Yeah. Number one is temperature matters, but you can't go somewhere just because the temperature's right don't mean you're going to get a diamond there. And that's the number one thing that people misconstrued about all this. When I started making videos on the temperatures, people misconstrued what I was saying. And, and well, you know how people are. They watch five minutes of a 15 minute video and they take everything out of context. And so 
that's the other thing is the temperature is just one of the things that needs to be right. And people don't understand that. Um, number one, go to where a known diamond location is. Grumpy Dutch, thanks for the raid. 24 viewers. Thank you. Thank you. So number one is go to where diamonds have been caught before. If you're truly chasing a diamond, you're not a big explorer and you just want to catch a diamond. And you don't want to go fish new locations and try to find new diamond spots. You're just like, I don't care about all that. I just want to go catch a diamond. Go to known diamond locations. That's number one. Now, number two, we can't see everything under the water. We don't know if the environment's right, but we do know the temperatures when we catch a fish. So if it's 10 degrees too cold, 10 degrees too warm, go somewhere else. Go to another known diamond location that the temperature is right and you'll catch your diamond eventually. It might take a few hours to spawn it in or you might get lucky and you've already got one spawned in so that's the thing some people are like same thing with the hunter call of the wild well i got my fox easy found it in 15 minutes killed it and had my diamond fox well that's because when your map was generated, you already had that diamond on your map. You, you, you have random diamonds already on your map. Of course, if you don't have to grind one up and it's already on your map, it's easy. But what I kept trying to tell people was if you did have to grind one up, it was hard. And, and what that means with this game, Kicking Wing, how's it going, buddy? The similarity on this game is this. You have diamonds on your map somewhere. that are already generated on your map. Those are the easy ones. You just gotta find them, you gotta get lucky and cast next to them. Now let's say you don't have a diamond of that species on your map and you're gonna have to catch some fish and get it to spawn in. Now what I say to the people that have caught 500 and still not got a diamond, what I say yeah. to them is you might be, and, and this person says that they're fishing in a known diamond location, then I'm saying this fishing there at the wrong time of day because the temperature's wrong because in 500 fish you should have caught that diamond by now yeah you ain't lying so you're fishing there at the wrong time of day if you go by the temperatures all you're doing you're not guaranteeing that you're going to catch a diamond but what you are doing is you're saving yourself time from casting in a water hole that you're never going to catch that diamond at that time of the day so there's usually multiple spots that you can catch a diamond of these fish. One of those spots usually has the right temperature. So just leave the spot that you're at. Or, like in this case, if I'm casting here in this spot, and this is a known diamond location, this whole, this whole lake is actually. They got it uh, a square around it. So if I'm casting over here and it's too cold, Go to this lighter green and you're probably going to be a degree or two warmer because it's not as deep. So that's another thing you can do. You don't have to completely leave a spot. It could be as simple as casting on the other side of the boat, which Jaxie has already said as well. There, You know, actually when Jaxie was talking about that, even before he came out and confirmed it here lately, even when he said that temps really didn't matter that much or, or people don't need to be leaving the location and all that. If you go back and watch that, he also said cast on the other side of the boat. You guys remember that? He, he, oh, said, yeah. he was talking about that too. That's got to be, that looks like a huge humongous. The reason you cast on the other side of the boat is like this. We're here. If I cast over here, I'm going to be in shallower water. The temperature is going to be a couple of degrees warmer over there. Why is that thing not biting? I mean, isn't that a smallmouth that's jumping out of the water? Uh, there's a tiger fish jump right there, too. Well, that's not a tiger fish, I can tell. It's either a large mouth or a smallmouth. I don't think the large mouth jumped. 
You got a silver hook or maybe it's a bronze. Nice hydro. Nothing yet, G-Man. Well, I mean, it looks a little big for a bronze. Oh, if it's a bronze, it can just stay there. I don't want it anyway. Uh, Would you be doing a guide for loot catch locations on Azillu? Probably not, MDM. Um, I've already found some. And some I've not found, and I didn't really keep up with it because it's not tied to rep. Once I got that 1,000 rep, I was like, okay, I'm done. Going fishing. <laughs> what was that he was looking for? You know, the little boxes. Oh, well, there's on Discord. They've got that mapped out already. Oh, well, okay. There's a lot of them. A real lot of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw that map and I was like, man, I don't think I'm going to go after all of them. I swear that was a tiger fish. The one that jumped out of the water on me? Tiger fish usually have like a little pinkish color to their fin, to the top of their fin. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> usually they do. Maybe it was. I mean, to me, I didn't see that. It just. I, I didn't see it very well either. I was just throwing things out there because I know they jumped too. Well, R. Lewis is saying it was a tiger fish, so maybe it was. To me, I just... I, God, God has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> 11th commandment. Thou shalt not doubt thy tiger fish. <laughs> I just didn't see that pink. Pinkish. Sharp, pointed... Fin. How much diamonds did you catch? Um, not. Oh, I've not been fishing that long. I've not caught, not caught any diamonds yet. Doing missions to get this rod on the Norway map. Now, that's a good one, especially if you're lower level and you've not got enough to unlock the, the bigger spinning rods. What in the world, boys? Hey, fine. I'm going to go back this way. But yeah, the catch stuff. Um, it's not going to give you anything. I mean, it'll give you some bait. It yeah, might, a couple of them had lures in them. Yeah, the, you might get like a different lure color or something. But, but yeah, no kidding, Darth. They're everywhere. I couldn't believe how many there were when I saw that. Our Lewis showed me that thing, and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> And there, it's just not worth going after for me, anyways. That's just uh, too yeah. many of them. I just don't really care. I don't. I don't need bait. I got so much money right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'll never spend all the money I've got on this game right now. There's a bait caster in one, like a reel or a rod. Really? Oh, that might be worth going after. I have to figure out which one that is. What you talking about, Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> you're the only you're the only one old enough to get that reference. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> I thinking, and none of them understood what you meant. Yeah, by that. they're like, uh, why is he talking to R. Lewis like that? And, <laughs> what you talking about, Lewis? Yeah. <laughs> From an old TV show, guys. <laughs> Back before 90210. You know what? That's probably too old for them, too. Yeah, way before. <laughs> well, I don't even know a new show that's out now. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, man, I started watching Suits. That's a good show. Buddy, it is. Suits is awesome. I like that. Suits yeah, is awesome. There's like quirky little one-liners. It's just full of quirky yeah, little one-liners. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. What you talking about, Willis? Chef knows what I'm talking about. Rental, thank you so much. What was the temperature on that? 77? Oh, we're good. Good temp. I just need to catch fish. I only caught one up here and I forgot to look at the temperature. Pre Simpsons. God, that show's been on. Is that still on? It might be, man. That thing's been on. I know it was like the longest running cartoon ever. Crew Dog 52, I'm old enough. Oh, I got one a little older than me in here. Forgot the name of the show, but I know I know what you're dropping. <laughs> you're stepping in what I'm dropping, right? 24 <laughs> years or something. Yeah, it's crazy. And they haven't aged a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hmm. Yep, Crew Dog says, I'm old enough. I wish I grew up in the Happy Days era. Monday, Tuesday, Happy that, Days. Now that was even before my time. <laughs> now you're getting ancient. <laughs> I did watch it some when I was little, but even then it was old. Yeah. The Fonz. Hey. Henry Winkler. What is that movie he's a coach in, The Water Boy? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the reel is in the catch at the end of the path coming out of the top cave. Top cave, is that the uh, eel cave? I know where he's talking about. I actually picked that up. Oh. I might have picked it up too. It's not, is it on the rock? He's talking about right through here. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, this is a. Ooh. Ooh la la. It's a big old, uh, big old boy right here. Was that the uh, can that sits on the rocks right before you get to the dock by the largemouth yellowfish? Crash, how's it going, buddy? <clears throat> That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I think it's called me. Yeah, I've got that. So close, but yeah, so okay. far. Les, how's it going, bud? Here at Les eighty six with the twenty two thousand stream elements points. Winchester, I think, still doesn't realize that I have sent him a friend request. Winchester, if you're watching my stream, I sent you a friend request. I'm like something weird, like player or something, something or other.
Doing good, Les. I'm ready to watch at 4.30 Mark Pope's introduction. Have you heard of the song that never ends? Feel like I've heard that one before. Oh, man. Um, have you see, sent a friend request as well. Which one are you? Limb based. Greenwood. All right, I'll get you after I catch this small gold. Maybe a big silver. James Payne, how you doing, buddy? Did you catch a I diamond? Know, Didn't he catch a diamond yesterday evening when we were fishing with him? Uh, I think he got his diamond yellowfish yesterday. Him and Cowboy Killer both got their diamonds. What I was thinking. Were you on when that happened? Well, me and you, you me and you fished for a little bit there before I went to that concert, and I was thinking that he caught a diamond something. Yeah, he, he did catch it. I didn't I just didn't realize he did it when we were playing. When you came on. Three gear challenges to go. Let's go. Alright. Ooh. It's a little warm here right now. Huh. Caught three fish up here and didn't pay attention to none of them with temperature. <laughs> that was the first one I looked at. Two you got diamonds. two diamond smallmouth yellowfish? Good job, man. didn't do I've not picked a single challenge up oh god I'm sitting here and caught all these fish I hope the temperature don't I mean the uh, time don't change too much oh god I've got warmer all right, this might not be a good place right now because these temperatures are getting hotter. <laughs> oh, the, te the time's going back. Man. A <laughs> 10 roach on Norway. Go up to the light top middle there's like a little lake that has a fast travel point right there and like a little dock right in front you can fast travel to that spot and catch a lot of roach if you're just needing any tin roach it's like a little little pond it's got fast travel point right at it What's up, Tackle World? Yeah, what time is it now? Uh, mine's still changing. I saw everybody got kicked and... Yeah. Oh, man. 
Why does it do this to us? I know. I'm hoping Tuesday or next Tuesday they've got this stuff fixed, man. Oh, the time is going backwards. Yeah, mine is. I'm I'm headed back to 1620 right now, and it's still going back. Well, here's the dimes I need. I need a smallmouth bass. I need a common carp. I need an African model deal. Blue kerper. Purple labayo, red nose labayo, and smallmouth. One after the smallmouth right now. Both of us caught two. Both you and Dad? Are you talking about Dad? No, Cowboy Killer, I think. <clears throat> caught two smallmouth yellowfish diamonds? Nice. Recommendation on bait hook size for red nose. I personally like the six eggs. Now that's going you're gonna catch some bronzes, but the reason you can't go five eggs and the reason I like eggs is because it eliminates a lot of the trouble fish in the area. Oh. <laughs> My time's going the other way now. <laughs> Me too. Now it's going nighttime. Yeah, that's where mine's headed now. <laughs> it, was like, it was going the other direction and I glanced down, I'm reading chat, and I go back and it's going the, the other way. You got five red nose diamonds yesterday, Les? Dang, I usually stop once I catch one. No, the. You got five smallmouth. Crash got his diamond purple and five liver. <laughs> I just never have luck with liver. I don't know why. Other than the catfish on this map. Well, I don't mind if I catch eel because I need a diamond to eel as well. So for me, it's like the eggs I'm catching, you know, I'll take a dime of either. Now, are you saying up the river here? Caught your diamond to eel on a five crankbait. Nice. So th put one on the hook and then eat the other one, Crash. I got you. At the bend right here. See, that's where Amy said she got hers. Right there or right here? That's where I'm at right now. Where Amy got hers? Where you did your gold challenge. Yeah. I think that's where she got hers. Marker. Okay. All right. I'll do all the things you guys want to do then. Fine. Fine. I can't see anything. Oh, I know. It's hard to drive up that thing at night. I was crashing all over the place. We need headlights on the boat. Well, if you get some moonlight, you can see, but sometimes it's like it is like you got right now. It's just pitch black. Oh, come on. Am I going to have to fast travel away and come back because the temperatures are locked in at what they were? Look here at uh, G-Man. Caught my large nose red mouth perch with 18 alt bread. <laughs> I want to see a picture of that one. That's the new legendary. G-Man's already caught it. 
Dude, an 18 ot would be like a, a ship anchor. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even hook it. You just drop it on its head and wait for it to float up. Yeah, that's a little, uh, water's a little, uh, rampant here, in it? Yeah, it kind of has a drop off right there. Hello, Thunder Gunner. How you doing, buddy? I think G-Man might be insinuating that sometimes I might get the names of these fish mixed up a little bit. That was so funny yesterday when he's. I don't remember what you said, but I don't, man, you had a good mix of words. I don't know, and I tried to correct myself like three times and kept saying the wrong thing. <laughs> My dad owns EW, so he gave me early access. The name of that legendary is Bob. <laughs> it's Bob, but you have to. 60% of the time. It's Bob, it but you have time. to uh, bottom fish for it. Hey, when you pull in one, let me know what temperatures you're getting. Because I might have to fast travel away. You know how they used to get stuck, the temps? Yeah. My temps should be cooler right now, and I, I'm i still showing them hot. Got you. All right, my alert worked. Hey, Atani, thank you so much. Are you ca are you long casting? Uh, I'm short casting. I'm not too far from your bobber right now. Uh-oh, we're about to have 10 boats parked in here. <laughs> the river's 10 feet wide. We're going to have five boats. heard only the strongest poles can hold him right that purple red nose yellow fish is tough you know man I bet I do I bet I got a fast travel out of here time did it stop at? Yeah, these temps should be lower now. Look here at this guy. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas path. Winchester, good job, buddy. I guess that's Winchester. Yep. Or Winchester's ghost. <laughs> Casper. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to. I think my temps are locked in at that old temperature. Yeah. I have uh, should be able to fast travel out and then well, back and then back. But, like, I'd fast travel further away. I, uh. I did that yesterday, but then I had to get the Jeep so I could get closer to my boat that was sitting where it is right now. So I drove the Jeep all the way there. Yeah. Because it wouldn't show up for me to fast travel to. I'm not getting any bites here. And I'm getting a bunch of bites. I just got wrong temps. All right. I'm going to run in circles because it looks like everybody's joining now. All right. Please be up there so I don't have to drive the Jeep. Nope. Thanks, Justin, for the uh, follow on Twitch. Appreciate you, buddy. Jerry Collis, welcome in. How's it going this morning? I'm at your, your favorite smallmouth spot, Jerry.
Yeah, you know this spot well. You showed me this spot. Amy caught a diamond here, Jerry. And I think Les did too. So this is not just a gold spot. I'm going to point my Jeep lights into the water so you can see better. <laughs> why, why couldn't you fast travel to your boat? Because it, it doesn't show up until you get close to it. That, I, I that trailhead and Impala horn wasn't close enough? Uh, well, I went back to the main thing, but then I... The trailhead that's right here for this lake is where I went. <laughs> but it didn't show up still. So I had to uh, drive over. That's what I had to do yesterday, too. I don't know what's up with that. Well... Any tips for a new player? Uh, Chef, I've got all kinds of videos for new players out there. Um, how new? Like, what level are you? 75.8. I think that's good. It's a little low, but close enough, I think. Yeah, because it's up to, I think, all the way to, what, 81 or 82? Something like that? Yeah. Level 2. Yeah, just do the missions, man. Like, you're not going to be able to catch, like, big fish until you get higher level to unlock the lines and stuff. So, go unlock the map, pick up, like, if you're on Golden Ridge, pick up, go to all these outposts and pick up, there's a challenge board next to each outpost. Pick up all the missions. Do all those missions. That'll help you get XP and unlock your map. Every lookout tower you come to, go up in it and survey the map in the top of it. And that will put like white question marks on your map that will show you where other fast travel points are and stuff. And that'll help you a lot. Split just got a diamond. Diamond common cart. Look at it. Split, boys. Showing us how to do it. Can you help me, Darth? I'm level one. Yes. Uh, you need to Alt F4. Pack a world. Roger that. Do you recommend I explore the area as well? Uh, lookout Towers will show you exactly where you need to go unlock fast travel points and stuff. It also gives you XP. And there's like pictures you got to take and stuff which that also helps you unlock the map. And what it's doing, it's just giving you XP, helping you level, letting you get stronger line as you go. And then you go back and catch the fish that it tells you to catch and where you have to catch them at. See, when you do these location challenges and stuff, you select them. I can't do it because I've already completed them. But are you on PC or console whatever button that you hit to track it you have to track the mission and then it will mark it on your map where you need to go okay so pick your missions up track them and it'll show you exactly where to go to do them by the time you do all those missions and unlock your map and stuff you're going to be high enough level to unlock all the line the big line to catch the bigger fish. But my advice is, as you start catching those fish missions, start off with the smaller fish and work your way up. 
and you'll get enough XP. It, the game is designed that way, to where you start with smaller fish and work your way up to the bigger fish. Always look at the handbook and you'll see like, for example, let's see, what's a fish on Golden Ridge? Smallmouth bass, for example. You see here on this map, it's eggs, frog, spinnerbait, right? I don't know, I can't remember if that's the same on Golden Ridge or not. But if you hit tab, it shows all the other baits that this thing will bite. So there's not just three well, it ain't gonna be tab for you. Whatever button it is on console, it'll show all the other baits that they buy. Triangle on PlayStation. I well, I'm getting 76 that. degrees, which is right at it. Yeah, I've got 74 to 76 is what I've been catching just now. I'm okay with 76. That's. Oh, uh, this one was 74.5. But it's so late in the night, and it might actually drop a little. But uh -uh. I'll stay here for now. I wish the time hadn't changed on us. Dang it. I know. No, that. They did good with the boat noises. I really haven't heard those lately, but they still got to get that thing fixed. Right when you're in the right time, you're ready to fish, then you get kicked. <clears throat> Man. But at least you don't have boats going crazy next to you anymore. That's true. Not having that sound is awesome. Yeah, that was awful. That really was. Thanks, Crash. Also, whenever you see uh, Crash. Yeah, my temperature's dropping. Whenever you see Crash, cast at his feet. <laughs> or R. Lewis. For Dad's a psycho. Really, any of this bunch that you're seeing here fishing, go to where they're at because they're at a diamond spot. <laughs> chances are. Yeah, chances <laughs> are they're at a place where dimes are. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't know if this is gonna work out here. Man. Whoa! My temps keep getting lower too. Whoa! I don't even want I that saw one. Something big just go by me. I want that one right there. I missed that other one on purpose because I want that one. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Every now and then. <laughs> I used to have that on my stream deck. Afraid I'd get, I was afraid I'd get in trouble over here on YouTube. Why are you not biting that? Here, here we go. Here we go. Gold. Bless you, evil. Oh, wait. That's crazy. My temps just went up. Liquid, how's it going? But oh, it's not a gold. Close to it. Yeah, too much delay. Mine just, uh, mine's dropping. Man, I'm, I'm about ready to say let's find another server. It's two eleven in the morning. What do you think? Uh, not a bad idea to be honest because I just these temps aren't that good right now that's for sure and I think my temps got locked into that when it went back to the 1600 then shot forward again <laughs> now they're too cold I 
You want me? I'll go out. I'll try to find another server. I got no problem with that. Jerry Collis. Sumo's Bend. That's what we could name this uh, river. This little spot in the river, Sumo's Bend. There you go. <laughs> Why are you hunting for juvenile Atlantic salmon? Liquid? This sounds like a competition somebody's hosting. I will say this, man. I'm catching a lot of them right now. That's true. And as soon as it hits the water, I got one going at it. Yeah, they're biting. Of course, I spent three hours up in that spot up there across from that lookout tower and caught a ton of gold, but no diamond. But with these temps being off, it may be the same thing here. Live well event. Hooch's weekend live well. He holds a lot of competitions. Ours is just kind of an ongoing competition, the top five. It's not a week to week thing. We just, it's just constant. But we do have an Angler of the Year award. So. Ooh, that looks bigger. We, uh, like, for example, if you have the biggest of the top five, then that's five points. If you have the second biggest, that's four points, you know, across all the maps. Yeah. And then that adds up, and whoever has the most points at the end is the Angler of the Year. This is much bigger. What is this? Oh, two sub two pounders from Matt. You got uh, you got an Atlantic salmon less than two pounds. That's actually impressive. What was the bait? Like a roach? Yeah, they're biting. I just don't know about the temps here, though. I know. At what I point are they going to start going back up? You know, like. I don't know. Man. When the sun comes out, I guess. So probably after daylight. But how cold will it be at that time? You know. Well, I mean, I keep bouncing back and forth, though. I'll catch one at seventy-four degrees, and I'll catch one at like seventy-five point eight. You know. It's yeah. Like I mean, it, it depends on if it's coming from the middle of the river or around, along the right. edge or so, I mean, it's how deep the water is there or whatever. I mean, it's just, but it's pretty consistent what? below 76. Yeah, and that's the minimum, isn't it? 76 to 84 is a pretty wide, I mean, that's an eight degree. I kind of right. feel like we might would be better served if we found a different map. Well, I'll go look, see what, what I can get. I'm just doing this for fun right here anyways, you know what I mean? I I really like to catch a diamond up this river since everybody says you can get one. <laughs> yeah. Let me reel this one in and then I'll head to uh, another server see what I can find. I can also, after I catch this last one, I'll, um, I'll leave and whichever of us finds the better map, would you want on that one? That'll be two people at least looking for a better time. What time would we rather have? Would we want to have like midday? I'm, well, up here, I'm not really sure because the, the lake, I caught all my diamonds there at probably 1700 all the way through the night. You know That's what? in the lake. Les is on a 638. I'm going to join on. That? I'm going to join on less and see. Well, I'll uh, I'll get into one, and if it, if your temps are good there, 
let me know and I'll try to join you. See, I can fast travel back to my boat from this thing. I mean, <clears throat> yesterday I couldn't. Today I couldn't even see my boat because everybody was parked right there, so I didn't see it. So I drove over there. But yesterday I had to drive to it because there was nobody by my boat, and it wasn't showing up until I drove up to it. Here's something you guys don't know too. Like if when you time you join a map like that, if you just stay where you're at, it thinks you're still at the same temperature from the last map. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um so I like to fast travel out, let the map sync up, and then travel back. Learn that the hard way on Spain for sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go get stock back up on some of these baits um Dang it. i ran myself out of everything yesterday i'm gonna i'm gonna buy some more red worms <clears throat> you can you can catch them on a spinner that's one of their preferred baits. But uh, you know what else huh. likes spinner? Tiger fish. Yeah. Pretty much everything on this map likes spinner. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a couple of exceptions. And large mouth, yeah. I got time. My time's going the right direction. It just hasn't stopped. Yet. All right, just stopped. Twenty-one nineteen. Oh, I'm stupid, man. Huh. I summoned the boat. I meant to fast oh. travel. I meant to fast travel up here, and then yeah. travel to my boat. And just out of habit, I went and summoned the boat. Uh, well, I'm at 2120 right now. I'm going to catch a fish and see what the temps look like because I fast traveled away and all that. And you were right, that that uh, point of interest or whatever, or the that place I fast traveled to it, my boat did show up. So, Be back, North. I need to find your push in the boat video. Oh, <laughs> the spotted bass video. <clears throat> And a lot of people do that. See them in the middle of that lake all the time. Yeah. I hear it's easier on PC to do it, though. I tell you what, it was difficult for me. That's why I gave up. I mean, it kept putting me in the boat. Well, it does that, too, on PC. But I think it's a little easier to control your movement on PC with mouse and keyboard. Time is like it on your map right now? Six forty eight. In the morning, okay. That might be the ideal time to be honest. I don't know. Well, I'm getting ready to catch one, so I'll let you know. I think I'm gonna throw my spinner in. Usually catch one quicker that one. Seventy-five point eight, and it's only going to get warmer from here, so I'll take it. Yeah, that does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. 
course, watch your server's going to be full. Everybody already joined up with you. It's most of the day. It's just like probably, oh. probably like after midnight to about five, six in the morning. So probably for three quarters of the day, this is good temperatures. At this spot. I don't know. Fast travel away here. You pushed all the way to the rave cave. I was told that it just ends around the corner on the rave cave. Wait, no. Oh, the rave cave or the eel cave up there? I think the eel cave's the one that they talked about ending right around the corner, huh? The eel cave. Oh, so you pushed a boat all the way to the rave cave? How far back through there does it go? Yeah. I was curious about that myself. Hey. Dale boy, what's up, buddy? That's crazy. Alright. You joined less, right? Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm in your server. I'm running in circles trying to get everybody to sync up with me. It said said you entered yeah. the reserve. Yeah, I see you now. Rave cave you can actually drive around a bit in. Oh, okay. What we need is we need to be able to either have a kayak or the John boat on our Jeep. Yeah. Yeah, because they got some ponds in the middle of nowhere that are pretty good size. With yeah. no access to boats, you know? Yeah. Like where I caught that common diamond a little while ago when you started your stream. That one, you got to, you know, drive all over. I mean, it's right out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a mountain. You know what would be funny? If there was just like a command to summon your boat... And uh, your character turns around and whistles. <laughs> and then these two dudes come like scrambling in real quick and they drop your boat in the water for you and then they just run off. <laughs> it's like you've got, got these two dudes just at your beck and call that just come in and <laughs> like, oh, he needs his boat. Like the Batman symbol up in the air or something. It's like you just turn around and whistle and here they come. Oh, oh, oh let's give him his boat. That'd be funny, you know? That would be good. And also, you have to tip them. Oh. <laughs> That'd be something to, that you could do yeah. with the the plethora of money that we have. Right. You, you could be them. like, you know, for five thousand token, or five thousand gold, or whatever. They bring your boat to you and put it wherever you need it. That'd be a way to spend your cash. Yeah, I actually like that. That'd be good. And it'd be funny if you saw them just like, ah, just running, just beating it, you know, fast as they could. <laughs> yeah, beating feet, carrying your uh, John boat. Yeah. had to fast travel away again real quick because uh my water temps were the same did we ever find out about the oh and look my boat disappeared because i went so far away. the what was the name of that thing that was on grr when you tried to put a marker down and we said it was an april fool's joke did we ever find out about that oh the name of that uh legendary thing they put in there yeah i don't know I haven't heard anything about it. Rubber Ducky. Rub Rubbert Ducky or something like that. Yeah, it was a Rupert Ducky or Rubber Ducky Jr. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we go. I fast traveled away, came back. My temps are good. <clears throat> Oh, it was just an accident they had that in there? Yeah, I think they got me a large mouth. It was slow. How many sparks are there for lake trout? And do you by chance know a spot for nine lake trout? I mean, um, That one spot in the in the Discord, um, there's probably multiple spots. I've not looked lately, but we'll look. There's, you know, the, well, the spot you're talking about, you talk about the one that's in that little river system that's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a it's round got, area that's. It's right got a buoy. Yeah. But yeah, that one. If you go south to that lake that's down there, mm -hmm. at the northern part of the, like, you know, it's kind of got a big round area with a deep spot that place too but i tell you what they're harder to get ever since they did that update i know they made them a bottom yep i i struggle with them i don't even go for them anymore they, they're a lot more difficult now before man you could get them on the top of the spoon so easy it was it was fun to fish for them and you jig for them now man last time i went for them i, I was like i don't even want to fish for them anymore I got my big diamonds on those things. I'm good. There we go. I got good temps and I'm starting to catch gold. That'll work. Hey, you can, uh, if it'll make it easier to get around that bend, you can come park your boat right next to mine if you need to. I was thinking Jerry said to cast at the bush. Well, I put a bobber in the water right there, and I do catch a lot. I mean, that's literally right in front of my boat. And, uh, but I just kind of been letting my bobber drift down the stream there, and I catch some gold ones all the way down as far as I can let it drift anyways. I mean, I can cast way out there. I just didn't know if you were kind of fighting that bend. You know how it takes a left-hand turn right there. If you need to move closer, go ahead. I'm, you're not going to be in my way. Five dimes, three people, and two hours there after the update. Near the south end of the map below the old hot spot. Yeah, that lake. That's where I was seeing the diamonds caught, if that's what he's referring to. There's that big old lake down there, and then like in the northern part of it, there's a, like almost in the dead center, there's a spot where you can catch them. Jerry has told me to back up a little bit. That's what I was thinking. I need to be casting toward that bush that you're in front of there. Well, maybe I should move out of the way because I probably should cast right where I'm sitting, huh? Well, How can I'm you sorry, do this I'm gonna you swing around. And you sit on the same thing. Look. <laughs> See if I can pull this off. 
without getting my boat stranded. Here, fishy, fishy. Uh oh. Mm, no, not that big. It no, it ain't that. It ain't that big. It's big silver, though. I'd say. Love you, dear. You too, sweetheart. Oh, you weren't talking to me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Razor! The best fish are always under the other guy's boat. That is true. Yeah, There's a gold. There you go. I didn't even pay attention to the temperature on that one. I've been getting mid 76, low 76. I think that's what you were getting earlier. Oh, you see that? The one that I had stuck over there by the bank? Yeah, I see that. Is that you or me? I could... That was mine, but it's, it's biting now. How's the hunting blind going? Stalled, Italo or crash because uh it's rained all week and i don't want to get it up there in the rain i want to get it up and get it painted like it's all gotta happen quick like i don't want it getting rained on without paint on it so i gotta go get some paint get some good protective paint I got quarter inch Luon board instead of uh, plywood to put around the outside. So I got to get it painted, protected. I'm going. My plan is to paint it like either green or brown or something, and then I'll take like black spray paint and break it up. And then I'll probably like get some branches and stuff and brush it in the best as possible. There's another gold. How about that? What's up, spider? How's it going, buddy? But I mean, I've got it built. I just got to get it up there and put it together, you know? Could have worked on it some yesterday. That's my son's birthday. And we had that concert and I didn't want to make him work on his birthday. So we'll get it up there. And I'm filming it as we go too. I'll make a little video and show it off to you to you guys. I get it built. Man. Man, another gold. Is that three golds in a row? Yeah, I believe it is. <clears throat> well, it's usually a good sign. That's three golds in a row. You know, I was fishing up here yesterday, and there was a guy that was fishing with us. I can't remember who, who it was, but he was catching canary curper, Blue Kerper, Red Breast, I think. All of that. And uh, bass, too, in this thing. Oh, yeah. I think it, I caught a bass, too. 
Yeah, in this river, I didn't know you could get all that, but I, I see him swimming around. Um, just woke up, stayed up late watching UFC fights. I saw that spinning kick that caught that guy in the nose. Man, that addled him, didn't it? Do I see a fish? Thought I did for a split second there. Yeah, I've been seeing them swimming right around our boats, man. That's been short casting right here. Nightmares! Oh. Thank you so much. Well, that's a jump in temperature. What? Well, my last one was 76 degrees. This one was 77.3. That's 1.3. 1. One yeah. Oh, that was nasty. Broke his nose right away. Oh, so it did break his nose. I didn't listen to any volume. I didn't have any volume on. But I just saw it was nasty. He did a spinning kick on him right when he it caught him perfectly. He lowered his head and it was like, pow. Was that right at the end of the round or something? That was an upset, wasn't it? Like a lot of people weren't expecting that to happen. Do you just open your bail and let it go? I do. Sometimes I'll let it sit for a little bit, then I'll just let it coast down until it gets a bite, then I'll stop it. He kept fighting with the with that broken nose. After he broke his nose, he kept fighting. Oh God! Could you imagine? Ooh, yeah, that'd be rough. I can't, believe, I can't believe he kept, kept fighting with a broken nose. Could you imagine how painful that was? Every time you get punched. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wizard Chess. Love to hear it, bud. Love to hear it. Welcome in. Don't be afraid to ask questions, man. We're here to help. If I don't know the answer... Uh, somebody in in the stream will some somebody in the chat will will know we got some knowledgeable anglers in here. A lot of the stuff that I put in my videos, I've learned from them. So, welcome in. Good to have you. Hope your Sunday's going well. Man, the bites have slowed down for me. I've slowed down. Yeah, I just got a nibble. Ooh. This is probably a gold. But I tell you what part of the problem is, too, is I'm, I'm dealing with this river. I know. It's so awkward up here. I like being where I was. But... This is what I was talking about, man. You that band is breaking your way, so when it starts to head that direction, yes. it's going to snap your behind if you get something. Yeah, it was gold. 14 pounder. But I mean, I did catch three golds in a row here, so I hate to. Yeah, it's. I mean.
I'll tell you what. I'm gonna move. I'm going back to the waterfall for a bit. Yeah, that's a good spot. Well, I could have caused the diamond to spawn in because I caught a lot of fish there. Right. Let's see what the temperatures are here anyway. Is it? I'm sure these temps have got to be warming up soon because I still get an occasional lower temp, you know. Yeah. Up here. Jaden, mogul community record holder. <clears throat> How's it going, Jaden? Geez, I would ask you if you've caught any big fish lately, but. Uh... I think I've got the answer to that. Ignore yeah, the name. I changed probably. it while winding people up in CGO stream and can't change it until tomorrow. <laughs> That's awesome. Seventy six point six. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, if this don't improve, I might come down there with you, but I just wanted to catch one here, you know? This, right. I've got one by the waterfall and got a couple of on the north side of that lake. Like it just, three of them up there. They just quit biting for me up there. I'm still getting nibbles, but... The elusive diamond. Nice wizard chest, the, the tiger musky. That one... That one gave me fits for a while, actually. Yeah, you struggled on that tackle Tuesday that time. So mm -hmm. thinking, and that was, and I was so bummed for you too, because that spot where we were, I'm telling you, man, I was getting back-to-back -back diamonds there, left and right. Sometimes you just hit a uh, a dry spill. Yeah. Well, I mean, and and I've found that people catch diamonds in a location. And I'll go there, and I'll never catch a diamond there. You know, I don't know if it's the RNG or what it is, but. I've had that happen. Yes, Jerry Collis is sumo. Stevie B faking me out with the fake strike. How dare you? <laughs> Taking up Mike Slack, huh? Yeah. Yes, Jerry is sumo. He helps edit the sheet as well. Yeah, he was doing a lot of that when you were on vacation, though, boy. Much appreciated, guys. Four more dimes for bingo in South Africa. I think I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I need seven. They've just slowed down. May not be wanting red worms this time of day. Yeah, throw Which, a spinner in there or something. I know. I just don't want to because I know I'm going to start catching tiger fish. Yeah. I changed my mind on the boat trick. What? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. Yeah, Jaden, I knew Purple LaBelle was going to be in that list. This one looks big. Fun. It's not as big as I thought. Yellowfish aren't going to be too bad, though. Definitely an unfair event. Boat truck? What are you... What? Oh, boat trick. Definitely an unfair advantage. I don't know. It's a lot of work to 
push that boat up there. Oh, to the spotted bass lake? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't worth it to me. I, I catch diamonds from the shore. And I just don't want to waste time pushing that boat. Try minnows. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. I don't want to be catching the tiger fish. It, it might not be a bad idea. Because I tell you what, I threw a minnow on, on this river yesterday, and man, the yellowfish were nailing that thing. I mean, I mean it's it's going to be a thing. last resort. Like, I'm going to... Oh, they're coming over now. Ooh. Well, that looks decent. Ooh, that looks more than decent. That's huge mangus. Watch it be a silver. Ooh, that does look big. Now, I would bet that to be at least a gold. It looked like it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely at least a gold. Yeah. Good size one, too. 13.57. Dang it! Uh. can't see this one because of the reflection. See something. I can't tell how big it is. Del boy, you didn't change the whole thing, did you? Like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about the April 1st part. Like. I'm going around the bend now. <laughs> I just don't, from a logistical standpoint, like I don't see people submitting for two different sheets. It just seems like a lot to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Like what I had envisioned in, in my head was we keep the top five as is. It looked beautiful the way you had it. Yeah, I love it. And we just end it on June 30th. and wipe the slate clean and then start over and I thought about I thought about just doing like winter spring summer fall just having two seasons because dad dad had mentioned about how it might be three months might be not enough time because we've got four maps now. Yeah, that would be my only concern is, is you'd never get diamonds on every map with that short period of time. You know, not, I mean, you might get a lot, but I doubt you're going to get enough to really fill up some slots. Right. So, so what I was thinking was we just keep the, that one top five, sheet that we've got put everything on yeah. it and then when june 30th hits we see who had the most points you know for the top yeah. angler and then wipe it clean 
and July one starts the new season, and and it'll be like summer winter, summer fall. We'll just do it twice a year instead of four times a year. Does that right. make sense? Yeah, I think that'd be... Th- that gives you six months, two six-month right. seasons. Because I think that's just the easiest route to go. And it gives people a whole six months to, to work for maps, you know. And plus you could have each divided into those two categories you could have a angler of the you know that season and angler of the next season and then you can have a combined total for the year you know angler of the year yeah off of that right right yeah now you have to do is just add add them up add the right. two up jay cheat switching up the leaderboards we just made it to where you could only have one uh, your name on for each fish on there once like the same person can't have their name on there five times for the same fish so you just get to put your biggest one but then you get five points for having the biggest one and we're doing a point system to where you get angler of the angler of the season like we're going to do like two seasons we'll end at june 30th start the next season july 1 We'll wipe everything off, clean the slate. July 1, there won't be anybody's name on there. And we start over July 1 and go all the way to December 31st. We'll have two seasons. So from now until June 30th, you submit them. So it would be five different people per fish. I think it's something awesome to to give us something to strive for, you know. I, I love it. I... Your top five list is the main reason I'm still fishing for stuff on here right now. <laughs> I do enjoy this new map though. I haven't left it since I came out. I really hope there's a dime in this thing for me right here. Oh, I say I say what you, what you've uh, I say what you've done there. Anglers of the Year, Spring 2024. Yeah, we could just call that, instead of Spring 2024, just call it um, Winter Spring, I guess. I guess that would be considered, like January to March would be considered winter, I guess. Yeah, technically. We could do Winter Spring 2024. And then maybe put, maybe put um, out from it in, in parentheses like January one to June thirty, and just keep it the way you've got it there. It looks good. And then, like I said, July first, we'll just wipe everything clean. I, I mean, I like it. I think it sounds great. At that point. We start anew and start over and well, let me ask you this. Once you guys do wipe the slate clean, are you going to, you know, at least take a screenshot of before you wipe it and store that somewhere so you can go back and look at it? Um, just make a new tab. No, I know, but I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. So it'll still be there. You just, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave right. that tab there, and then I like I like what what you said too. Like we'll leave that tab there because then we do the next season, and that'll be the winner of that season. And then you take the two seasons and add them up, and you've got a twenty twenty four angler of the year. Right. So you might win the 
um, summer fall season, but not win angler of the year. So it still rewards consistency based on how good you did this season and next season. Right. Which gives you different things to go for. So basically, we're right now competing in what we're in this till June thirtieth, knowing that it's going to be wiped clean. So that's why it's important to have both of those screenshots too, because anything that has June thirtieth or prior won't be able to be put on the new season when it starts July one. It's that that screenshot's going to have to say July one or later. For that one. Why are you not biting? I see you. Hmm. I got a largemouth yellowfish just following my bait. He's so slow he couldn't catch it. a big one like right here that I need to come bite my bait. Rick Park, how's it going, bud? Toffee Army... Um, third sheet can be done with the formula too, so there isn't a lot of work. That's true. That is true. Yeah. I used to know how to do all that stuff. I could figure it out, but. Oh, there's Carper in here too. June 30th, Rick. The top five list. Yeah, June 30th. This season, Rick, of our top five, we're going to do it in seasons. We're just going to do it twice a year. We think that four times a year is too much, too much work. And just three months is not enough time, we feel, with four maps now. So we're going to do two seasons. Uh, we'll end this season June 30th and then crown that victor. And then July 1st, we start the new season. And then at the end, in December 30th or 31st, ain't it? 31st. Whoever has the most points for the whole year um, What map are you on, CJO? What? I, yeah, I, I hope you don't mind. I just got that one out of there. I don't know what that was about, but I haven't seen CJO in here, so. I haven't either. Hope you don't mind. I just. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> Man, they've, they've stopped biting. I've been getting a lot of largemouth to bite, but I'm on a spinner right now, so I think I'm going to switch back. What reserve are you fishing at? I'm on Africa. I got seven diamonds left to get on Africa. Yeah, Wizard Chess, you said CJO, and we were all like, huh? I know I've got an accent, but 
It's a little different than he is. <laughs> you gonna work on your fake accent? Yeah. My accent's a little different than he is, I think. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> I saw a huge mungus one. I bet you it was a large mouth. Could be a tiger fish too. that a tiger fish nothing all right i'm gonna cast further out How's the bites for you all? Uh, pretty slow, honestly. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Is it a big one? I couldn't tell. Yeah, he big. Could be a big go, G man. I don't know. It's gonna be close. He's not he didn't turn me cherry red, so I'm gonna say big go. Yep. Yeah. Gold. Good shot. <clears throat> Man, that purple, red nose, yellow fish is tough to get. I'm still trying to get these roach, most prolific species in Europe. And today you'd think they were <laughs> endangered. <laughs> That's funny. Dime start at 16 plus, I believe. What is my biggest one? Yeah, I've had a bunch of 15, mid 15 pound golds over here. Mm, well, I haven't caught one that big yet. I think the biggest gold I've caught in this river so far has been like 15, four, eight or something like that. James, were they hitting good at? Where you at? Oh, they're hitting good there, where you're at. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. I've, I've caught like three of them up in that area. Well, closer to Jaden than... James. Heard something jump in that direction, I thought. Mm 
Yeah, you ain't lying, Crash. That uh, that purple labelle is is a lot like the Breen. <laughs> oh, is it? Very elusive. <laughs> Hard to get that one, is it? Oh, it's man, pain in the butt. Because I mean, you really, I'll, one location that I know of, anyways, and my goodness, I, I fished there so many times before I got that dime. This smallmouth's giving me some fits here. I've been after it for a while. That's what happens when you get those quick diamonds back to back like I've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> then you hit the, 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 the dry spell. You, where are you at? You're, huh? Are you in the middle of that area? Or are you closer to the waterfall? I, mean, I don't think it makes a difference, but... I'm, uh... Oh, you're out there further. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it makes a difference. I think you catch them all, that whole area there. The whole, the whole lake is, uh... Yeah, diamond location. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. <clears throat> Got my first nine, one... Got two more now. Back to back. Hey ho. Yeah, you did get lucky. <laughs> Man. Do you think I should be closer to the waterfall? I mean, I don't know if it can make that's I was close to the waterfall when I caught mine there the other day. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, to be honest. I was just about where you are, casting straight at it, and that's where I got mine. But God, you can't I see if they are coming or not. But we'll we'll let it. But like you said, that whole lake's a yeah. Next stop, GRR for Orid Trail. Any suggestions? I, I mean, I can't explain to you where I'm on Africa. Yeah. Um, can't, can't remember all. The I have a YouTube video guide on Ord Trail. Uh, it's in the south at a pond. <laughs> the where I caught mine. So <laughs> I don't know how to tell you. I'm pretty sure I caught it on eggs. But, well, uh, I can give a brief description if uh, you know that there's a point of interest that's on the west side of the map and it's an itty bitty pond with the point of interest right on top of it. I can't remember the name of that place, but that's an Ored Trout Diamond spot that's pretty hot. Yeah. Where I caught mine, there's no fast travel point at it. Yeah. That's why I like that spot. It's it's below that lake on the west, you know, that huge lake? Yeah. It's like right below that, there's a point of interest that you can fast travel to that pond. I don't know if that helps you or not, but that's a good spot. I caught a couple in that one. Winchester's got his waders on over here. <laughs> He's walking out in the lake. J-Man is like very descriptive and would make an excellent streamer, you know? <laughs> I got mine in the water. Got mine in the water at a pond i mean just there's i don't know what else yeah what else you could do <laughs> how how else could you say it any better than g-man there he's got a point That's very specific <laughs> and you can't go wrong hey are you a weatherman g-man <laughs> if not you you missed a good chance to be a weatherman It could rain today, maybe not. All depends.
<sighs> My goodness, man. It has slowed down a lot for me up here. It has for me, too. Oh, goodness. I'm almost at that point where I decide if this is even worth getting a dime in this river or not. Well, see, I think that late evening's better. Yeah, I generally go for these in the late evening. But then the time freaking changes on you. Yeah. Like, that lake you're in, I mean, late evening all the way through the night, I caught dimes, well, especially on the north side of that. So, I mean... This river, I'm not quite as familiar with. Oh. Yeah. Tigerfish. Of course. Uh oh. Yeah, my game's starting to act up. My sound just went away. Or the water sound one. Seventeen to midnight. Yeah, to me that's that's your best. Yeah. Well, it's basically ten o'clock in the morning. What else, what other dimes do you need? And paling. What am I missing? I haven't fished on any of the other reserves. Didn't realize your progress carries over. Well, your money carries over your... Yeah, what he said. Your gold tokens, diamond tokens, legendary tokens, they're not going to carry over. Because they're, they're uh, currency specific to that map. 75.8 degrees. What? Somebody caught a diamond. Who caught a diamond? Uh, uh, oh, a mogul. Where'd he catch it at? Yeah. Did he catch it at the cradle of life? The cradle of mankind? Uh, yep. It looks like. Yep. Yep. Maybe that's what I'll do. Shoot down to the dam and try to get some there. I've never caught one there yet. Hmm. The bites are definitely slowing down here. Yeah, I caught my orid trout in the water using some bait. <laughs> With a fishing pole? <laughs> With a pole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I caught it on Golden Ridge. Tiger fish are biting. I got good water temps though, man. That's the only bummer buff if I leave this spot. slowed down. Were you getting more bites where you were parked before? No. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Just a cloud or something. Looked like the time was changing. It got kind of dark for a second.
Yeah, wizard chest. Yeah, yeah. You'll still need to get the rep on each map because what's going to happen is you'll build some diamond tokens up on each of those maps. Like, for example, here I have nine diamond tokens, right? And I've got these gold tokens. Tokens. Now, I don't have any legendary tokens yet because they've not released that yet. But let's imagine that I did, right? And there, then, then there was a big rod or reel that I need out of the souvenir shop. Then I'm going to buy that, and that's going to deplete my tokens. So then I might go over to another map that I've got diamond tokens and stuff on and buy my next piece of gear on that map. Well, you got to have the rep in order to... Oh, this is, this is a good one. You got to have the rep in order to be able to uh, to buy the gear on each map. So that's why it's important to do the missions and get that 1,000 rep so that you can buy everything that that map offers. Because you're going to switch. You're probably going to buy a piece of gear. Like if I buy a piece of gear on Africa, the next piece of gear that I buy will probably be on a different map because as we catch diamonds... Uh, you build those diamond tokens up and you're going to want the freedom to be able to buy a piece of gear on any map because you might have more tokens on one map than the other at any given time. This should be a gold. 13.34. Well... Oh, there we go. Okay, I see one. G-Man's taking a break from his red deer grind and fishing. That's how I always did it, is I was going for diamonds and stuff. Like, I would buy a piece of gear on a map, and I would be like at zero diamonds, zero diamond tokens, and, I'd, and then I'd look at which map I had the most diamond tokens on. Then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to catch me another diamond on this map so I can buy whatever piece of gear. Problem is, if you don't have the rep on that map, then you can't buy it off that map. Uh, where you're just starting out and stuff. Shoot. If you did all the missions on Golden Ridge, you'd be up there in the mid-twenties, probably. There's enough missions out there if you wanted to do that. You can unlock all kinds of stuff just doing that. But there comes a point where you're just itching to fish, you know? Does the double XP apply to missions too? Oh, I don't know. Because if so, that's awesome. I mean, it might be. I mean, it's double XP. I don't think it's limited. Yeah. I haven't even bothered. I, I should have went to the other maps and just leveled up real big, but I still haven't left this map. I haven't done my weeklies on the other map. I'm since they came out with Africa, basically. I haven't left this thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not leaving until I get all the dimes. I'd probably be like level 160 by now if I would have done all that. Because I've actually been leveling up pretty fast without leaving this map. I, am I think that ends the day, doesn't it? There's several diamonds that you can get down by the dam. There. 
Can't get a diamond musky there, though. You can get plenty of golds. Oh, on GR? Yeah. Yeah, that little corner to the west of the dam right there, man, you can get... I mean, you got Burbot there. You got, I think, Bluegill there. Channel Cat. Sauger. Channel Cat. I mean, there's a bunch right there. In fact, that's where I got my first Sauger diamond. Oh, my goodness. It has just completely died. Oh, Jane just got one. What? Oh, that's right where I'm fishing at, too. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a big one going for it right now, too. Oh. Oh, that'd be nice. You get it right off the bat. Hmm? Not that big. Nice, James Payne. I saw that. Good job. I'm right behind you, by the way. So just go ahead and release that fish, and I'll throw my hook right in its mouth. <laughs> How's the dime hunting going today, Darth? Well, Pooch, and welcome in, bud. Uh, James Pay here, Jim Pay here, right in front of me, just caught a diamond smallmouth. That's what we're going for. The diamond smallmouth. What'd you catch yours on, James? How has Pooch been? My first bluegill was a diamond, so that was nice. But over a few days, finally got that tiger musky. Nice. Shooting fish and catching deers, brother. That's what we're talking about. Liquid, how are we doing? Oh, that's almost a gold. Three hook minnow. What? You said what? Yeah. Say they like the minnow too. Just gotta battle those tiger fish. Yeah, you do with the spinner. As well. Ooh, so. I just saw a big one swim by. Been doing great. That smallmouth has eluded me since early access was my first dime, but haven't seen it since. You know, when I was playing early access, I actually uh, caught three gold purple labeo, like real quick off that dock where the challenge is. And I was like, well, I see what the easy dime's going to be. That purple labeo is going to be the easy dime on the. Evidently, that is not the case. I've not really targeted them yet on this build. But from what I'm hearing, they're pretty tough dimes to get, the purple labeo. Man, I got the largemouth yellowfish in no time. I just pulled up there and said, give me my dime and got it. But this smallmouth... 
smallmouth's a different, different beast. <laughs> Crazy how different it is for everybody, you know? Yeah, you got several of them, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a bunch of them. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get one up here, because everybody says you can get them in this river here. Oh, up, up the river. Without a paddle. Eighty-two point three. We are still in the correct temps. You still up there in that river bend? Yeah, but I'm just—it's been real slow going here lately. Oh, this has got to be a tiger fish because it didn't nibble. That purple is not a legendary. I'll eat my hat. It's the rarest fish on the planet. All right. I'm going with the minnow. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, there's my first tiger fish on the minnow. Yeah. I just want something to bite. <laughs> Anything. You're targeting the blues. Is that the one I don't have? Yeah, I don't have the blue. Yeah, you didn't have the curper yet, did you? The blue curper. It's probably a good time up there in those little ponds. Or down there in those little ponds. Oh, that was almost gold. Oh, at least you're getting a lot of bites. Get something to spawn in for you. <laughs> yeah. Tiger fish. I'll tell you what, that's what I'm going to do, James. I think I'm going to go put my boat beside the guy that just caught a diamond. That sounds like a smart move. <laughs> well, if it keeps going this way for me, I might be third boat right next to you. Mama didn't raise no idiot. I did that all by myself, but she didn't raise one. Also need the reds and caught like almost 100 yesterday. Got level 99. One more for the big rod, boys. One more. I really do hope they put some more gear in the souvenir shop. You know, we need, a little, need a little something, don't we? Yeah, it's been a minute. It's another tiger. Yeah, it is. There's a gold. You doing minnow now, or are you still on red worm? Minnow. We're doing the men, though. I put the minnow on up here and I caught James Payne caught his on the minnow, so puts the lotion on its skin. That is what it's towed. <laughs> New stuff for looks. Yeah, I want to look over there on the bank and see Pooch. Or G-Man, or Wizard Chess, or Dad's a Psycho, or anybody, one of my friends. I want to see somebody with that special hat on, special gloves on, special boots, whole outfit, whatever, that you can only get by catching a 10-pound largemouth diamond, or 25-pound channel catfish diamond, or 
whatever they're locked behind big fish and you get the whole outfit by catching big fish and i look over there and see them and, and i see them wearing that and i'm and, and i'm instantly jealous you know and i'm like oh i gotta get that it just drives us to to keep playing you know show off our bling our in-game achievements not something you can buy with money or tokens you only get it by catching this certain fish. Yeah. That'd be good with some of that, too. Oh, it, it would be awesome. Like, And you can do it by seasons. Like, Jaxie could show it off at the start of each season. Here's the seasonal outfit, guys. Uh, and, you know, the gloves, for example, on Golden Ridge got to catch the 10 pound largemouth bass or you got to catch the i don't know three pound something white fish I, I don't know i'm just i can't remember but let's say you hate the fish on golden ridge well you can get those gloves on trosport by catching this fish or over on spain by catching this fish or this map by catching this fish so you would have four different fish that you could unlock the gloves with Right. Each map has a different fish attached to whatever. Right. That way, if you absolutely hate, you know, the fish that it's tied to, you know, sounds like the makings of a battle pass. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a, it doesn't give you, it doesn't make you a better angler. It doesn't give you any type of advantage over any player. It's just extra bling cosmetics it's an extra outfit and you can't get it unless you achieve certain things in the game and it's replay value because i'm not going to stop until i unlock those gloves oh that oh that's a largemouth yellowfish i was about to say that looks humongous five dimes for the full outfit Well, I'm not talking about just outfit. Like I'm talking like, like right here's the most coveted things, right? We're looking at it right now. Gloves, rod, and reel. That is what you see the most of. Jaden, I hate you. I mean, congratulations. Where'd you catch that at? Hold on, I'm getting a bite. So what I'm wanting the most, you know, is there's going to be a pole, a seasonal pole, seasonal reel, seasonal gloves, hat, uh, maybe even glasses. Um, right behind me, really? Yeah, where you were parked is where he is. <laughs> Dag on it. Um, t-shirt, pants or shorts or something, boots, um, boat skin. Jeep skin. Yeah, I like those different skins for the where I moved from. I hate you, Jaden. Yeah, literally, you were parked there. <laughs> I was. Oh. Yeah, and then at the start of each season, Jax, he could do his tackle box stream and say, here's the new seasonal cosmetics, you know. So, first thing I'm going for, though, if we ever did this, first thing I'm going for is gloves, the rod, and the reel, because that's what you see the most of when we're fishing, because right there it is, gloves, rod, reel. That's what you see the most of. And then after that, whatever. But like now when you're looking at somebody else's character, you can see their full body. So, you know, of course you want to get every piece. But first thing I'm going for is gloves, rod, and reel. Also, the boat, you know, a special boat would be awesome. Special Jeep would be awesome. Doing jeeple things.
And that's the thing. Doing this doesn't affect everybody else either. Like everybody else can keep playing the way they've always played. If they don't want to go after the outfit, they don't have to. You know? But same thing with in-game tournaments. Now, my number one idea is... Instead of it being a 10 pound bass that you gotta catch to unlock the gloves, for example, what if you have to win the bass tournament, the end game bass tournament? And we have a multiplayer option where you click tournaments and you go down and find your fish and you sit and wait in a lobby until it fills up with 12 people and then 10, 9, 8, countdown timer starts, and then you're fishing. And you've got 30 minutes. Whoever catches the biggest largemouth bass in that time wins the tournament and unlocks that gear. That's what I would really like. And and again, those people that don't like tournaments, don't click on the tournament button. Just keep playing it like you're playing it right now. But if we can't do that, if we can't do in-game tournaments for some reason, then that's my second option is tie a specific size fish to it 10 pound largemouth bass or bigger 70 pound uh catfish or bigger or 75 pound catfish sharp tooth catfish or bigger you know those types of things those elite fish that everybody's going for the two pound canary carper you know Third person view, like when walking around, but not while fishing. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. First diamond grass carp, 64 pounds. Let's go, Johnny Wings. Congrats, buddy. Congratulations. Man, that's a good one. Yeah. How big's yours, Dad? Uh, not that big. How big do they get? The grass carp. Do they do they reach seventy? Uh, I don't think they reach seventy, but I think sixty five. Or he might be pretty close, honestly. Mine's only fifty nine, fifty six. Let's look at the record. And I've caught a bunch of those too. <laughs> I just can't break that sixty pound mark. Let's look at the record before I start. <laughs> God, I knew I was gonna sneeze. And I'm tabbed out, so of course I get a bite. So hold on. <laughs> Nice toffee. Sixty-six point five nine's record. Thanks, G Man. I was trying to look it up, but I just couldn't. Oh, five six. Man. Now I agree, Razor, and hopefully that happens someday because even the official angler Discord, uh, King of the Catch. What is King of the Catch this week? I have no idea. I don't even I don't even mess with it to be honest. Looks like it's purple labeo. Oh, good lord. <laughs> it is. Purple labeo. Um, what's I talking about? Oh, yeah. The, uh, for King of the Catch, you have to submit the two screenshots, right? So it looks like they would. All they would have to do is on that harvest screen. Here's what we need on the harvest screen. We need the size hook that you caught it on and the bait. We need your name, like Darth Sloan, whatever. We need the date, you know, like right here. Let's look at this African tiger fish. We got the weight, we got the length, that's fine. Temperature, bait used, minnow, but what hook size? You know, right there it could say bait used, number three minnow. You know, just put number three men over right there. Uh, uh, they got space with date and time on there, too. They should do that, too. Yeah, like... Put a little space down below that. Date and time. And then all you would have to do is this one screenshot. Right here. Yeah.
Amazon, not not just biggest catches. Oh, you're in the lead for the purple Wabayo. Well, aren't you special? Which just thinking that. I've only won. God, what fish did I even win King of the Catch with? I forgot. I've never even submitted for it. I won something. I can't remember. I won. Dang. I can't remember. KOTC Hall of Fame. That show. Camizo? Our Lewis just said you. Was it Camizo you did? I don't know. I'm going. Oh, Dark Slime. Wait, wait, wait. Week 62, Camizo Barbel. Yeah. 36.76 pounds. That's a good side one there. Jeez. I would love to see some multi-mounts like a pike eating one of the pan. Oh, that would be sweet. Like a yeah, tree with multiple be. spots to put fish hanging in and around it. Oh, Brady Hill. Oh, man. I got it during Tackle Tuesday. Hey, this one's actually pretty decent. Bag on route it is. It's a gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing Tackle Tuesday. Uh, now I've done a couple seasons of it West Coast East Co I got a bunch of reasons like the West Coast East Coast thing is, is tough on me uh, setting up that late that looks like also I already know there's going to be a couple of Tuesdays I would miss anyway vacation and stuff and trips so I'm just going to set this season out. Yeah, it's hard to win that thing if you miss a few times. Well, just everything considered and, and it being so light for me. See, for them, it's like... Yeah, I know. They're still six late, or late seven o'clock. Yeah, for, right. for me, it's starting at 9 o'clock at night, and I'm usually in bed at that time. Yeah, and you don't finish until 11. You have any ideas what the Legends fishes are going to be? What the Legendary fish are going to be? Not yet. No. I'm sure that's a greatly guarded secret there. Toffee, it's not like our IRL fishing. We're not that precious about when, where, and how we catch a fish. <laughs> Speak for yourself. We're always sharing how we got the fish, so I can't see having the full rig using on the catch screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see it. We disagree on that one, my friend. I want to know if it's number three hook, four hook, five hook. Want the date and time? The reason for the date and time and stuff is like we're we're hosting these competitions, and like for King of the Catch, you have to submit two screenshots. One because it's not all on one page. That's the reason why you have to submit two screenshots. So you want the date and time on that harvest screen, so you can just submit that one screenshot and be done with it. Right now, you have to submit two screenshots because the date and time is on a, the recent catches screen. So it's you got to take two screenshots and submit both of them. And they could just eliminate that step if they put it all on one page. I hold the world record for that in red as well. Crash, 37-pound camiso barbel. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> Hooch has a 37.01 so he has record 
Did he submit it though? Cause see, there's plenty of people out there that probably have records. We just don't know about them. They got to submit oh. them to the Angler Discord. I've never submitted anything, and I already had bingo. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. Scoring our attorneys would be so much easier if it was all on one page. Exactly, Razor. We need it all on one page. I don't know why they did that. Makes sense to put it all on one screen. Seems like it would have been easier to code it that way, too, you know? So close to nine. Who? Who got so close to nine? G Man? What'd you get? G Man. Oh, that is 15.24. Man, that's a good one. Have you gotten a Northern Pike video for Golden Ridge on the channel? I think you did. Seems like you did. I don't know if I did for Golden Ridge. I know I did. I know I did for the other two lakes. Yeah. I know you did Spain for, for the sure. The other but two I maps. Swore. Yeah, you did. You did Norway too. I know. I don't know if I did for Golden Ridge. I'm going to go back and check. That'd have to be I, on my to-do list. I seem like I remember seeing that. Because I remember you at the lake where you can get the tiger muskie and the pike in the same spot. You know, where you can get a... I don't want that thing. Green sunfish diamond and a black crappie diamond all in that same little area. Yeah. Seems like I saw that. Maybe not. <laughs> I know you did the tiger musky one on there for sure. Thirty-seven point oh four. Spider, how do you find out that's the max weight? How do you know for sure? Have you talked to somebody about that? Well, on the official angler discord, it's got a little thing over to the right. Does it? This shows the absolute max? Yeah, and I don't know how they know that. Hmm. Yeah, Johnny Wings, I have a uh, African shark tooth catfish guide video. Shows you where I caught mine, what I use. And Techniques and all that. Huh. I didn't know that. I guess I need to start looking at that stuff more often. Right. I'll be back in one second. Hundred percent sure, but yeah, what Sloan says, it's under hook size and parts. If I can find it. Let me tab out. That's one way to make sure I get a bite. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> How do you get into the Discord? I can send you an invite to their Discord. Hold on just a second, let me get this fish in. I'll put their I'll put their Discord in. Just click the link and join it. If as long as you're 13. Oh, that was almost gold. 60% of the time it works. Every time. Okay, and that copy. Here's the official angler discord. You want to join that? There you go. 
Um, what am I, what was I going to look at before that? Oh, the records thing. Wait a minute. Or was it hook chart? Was it help sheet? Crap. What's it on? Talk about the max weight. Yeah, on the hook chart. Yeah, hold on. Let me show you all something. Man, I never knew that. I haven't seen that on there. Let me show you all something. All right, on the hook chart, guys, in the official angler discord, you see all the fish over here. Got KG pounds. So according to this, the biggest the catfish can get is 79.37 pounds. God, that'd be sweet. Gra wow. Grass carp goes up to 68.34. Common carp, 65.04. Look at all these. But mirror carp, 58.42. I never even noticed that. <laughs> yeah, large mouth yellowfish goes up to 50.71. Small mouth goes up to 34.17. The eel can actually go to 22.05. Wow. Canary Carper, 2.31. Huge! That's crazy. Red Breast Carper, 4.19. Mogul, 6.61. So, yeah, right there on the... just That's just on the hook chart. Right there. Neat. I've looked at that hook chart a bunch of times and never noticed. It's that. just one of them things you overlook it. You don't think to look over there. But anywho, guys, I'm gonna have to head off from here. So, back on. We didn't get that. Oh wait, I see one right there. Hold on, got to cast at it. One more fish. Just one more fish. They are estimates and not completely accurate. Well, that's what I'm wondering is like, how do you know? Like, if it's bigger than what the record is, then how do you really know? You know what I mean? Pooch hopped over on YouTube and gave me a view as well. Thank you so much, brother. One more is not going to hurt. It might, you know, depends on how hard the wife punches me. Let's see. Did I just see another one swimming off? <clears throat> but for something to be an estimate, why would you? Oh, because it's kg. That's why you get the odd pound poundage. I'm like, how can an estimate be 79.37, you know? I'm like, but it's 36 kg. So by the time you convert that, okay, I, I see what you're saying. All right. Uh, anyway, that's going to have to do it for me. We got anybody over on um, which fishing? Tackle World. Let's, let's, let's raid uh, Tackle World. Tackle World. There we go. We're going to raid Tackle World. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me and chilling with me on this Sunday. We will give Tackle World a good raid here. You guys say hi to him. And I got to go get ready. We're going to have my son's little birthday party with my mom and dad and family. So, you guys have, have an awesome day. Sunday. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow evening. Later.